Good morning. It is it's a Monday. It's Monday, December 26, 2022, and it is 43 a.m. in my locale. All right. So it's 53 degrees and it is currently raining. Not bad rain, but rain. And so I have no idea what's going on today because I'm doing the Bayside tour, which means I don't go to work until 930. So we'll see what's happening. So let's just get started. Our Daily Zen poem is... Okay. The clouds of sunset gather in the western sky, and over the silent, silvery Han rises a white jade moon. Not often does life bring such beauty. Where shall I see the moon next year? Su Tween Po, 1037, 1101. Um, that's pretty. And I like that. Um, because, you know, we're always on that series of adventures now, aren't we? I don't know if I'm going to be here next year. I don't know where I'm going to be next year. But it'll be fun. So, Daily Rune Pull. Let's see what, let's see what our message is today. Let's see if we can pull it together. No. It's Al Yee's. So let's get the book. Do, 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 do. Protection. <clears throat> You'll see why I just did that in a second. One oh four, one oh eight, one oh six, one oh. I can find a page right in a book. Sure, I should be able to do that. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. Control of the emotions is an issue here during times of transition, shifts in life course, and accelerated self-change. You cannot collapse yourself into your emotions, the highs as well as the lows. New opportunities and challenges are typical of this room, and with them come a trespass and an unwanted influence at times. This serves as a mirror for the spiritual warrior whose battle is always with the self. The protection of the wire is like the warning rustle of the sedge grass or the corn corms of the elk. Served, I'm sorry, for both serve to keep open space around you. Remain mindful of timely action and correct conduct are your only true protection. If you find yourself feeling pain, observe it and stay with it. That's very zen. Don't pull down the veil and escape by denying what is happening. You will progress and that is your protection. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out. Um... Clouds of sunset gather western sky, rise made. Not often does life bring such beauty. Uh, protection that in times of life changes, you have to kind of stay the course and do the right thing. And if you're hurting, don't pull down the veil of the hurting. Just observe it. It kind of says, when I look at both of these, taking life uh, as it stands, not as you want it to be. You're taking life as it happens, not as you are forcing it to be. It means that you're taking situations as they are, not as you wish them to be. And you're working hard to control your emotions and move through the ones that are good as well as the ones that are bad. So, having said that, I believe it's the right case of you. Oh, whoa, whoa, we're a special guest star is not supposed to be here yet. Hey. 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 He keeps wanting to get after Queso, and Queso wants no part of that because he's an old man. Hey. Excuse me. Hey. You're going to be on camera in a second. Now you're going to hide behind my leg? That guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on up. Sorry about the camera angle, guys. Whoa. That is Houdini. <laughs> and that is Queso telling Houdini to get off of my lap and get away from Dad. Now, Houdini's a big dog. Like... What are you, 60 pounds, 70 pounds? 
Is that what you want? I know. I yes, I know. Yes, I know. You can um you can take that picture for anybody that says I'm a thoughtless, heartless son of a gun, right? Yes. Yes, thank you for the kisses. I appreciate that. Would you mind would you mind getting down now? Come on. There you go. All right. So what are we doing today? We're going to work. Oh, wow, right on the belly. We're going to work. Um, again, Bayside, 9.30, 5.30. I don't know if I'll be there all day. I mean, if there is no Bayside tours, the most I can do is clean the boat, uh, help out for a few small things, and then say, listen, if there's nothing for me to do, you really should not be paying me to sit here. I come back, take care of this guy. Uh, go get him, take care of this guy, take care of Queso, because I get get ready to feed him. Um, very cold day yesterday on the water. It was about 55 degrees, but there was a 20 mile an hour north wind. So we were driving directly into the wind all the way up on the trip. And then the wind was at our back all the way back. So I might look a little red in the face here, right? A little bit in the nose, because I'm a little wind blown. Um, I did layer up. However, I'm going to double layer up today a little bit i'm going to wear an additional uh, an additional coat be beyond my coat and it should help you know it's just i just need something to block the wind more than anything else i was already out this morning to get him at about 4 45 it's not a very far walk but i had to bring him in and the result is that you know i've been outside it is i can hear the rain it was sprinkling but it's expected to clear up by midday. The high is supposed to be about mm, 63. So there's a good chance that whatever I'm doing, I can get rid of my coat. My Christmas evening was peaceful. It was, came here, uh, got this guy, uh, sat around with queso, made a small batch of Christmas chili. Talked to a couple of friends, mainly in colder places. And just enjoyed a very quiet Christmas evening and it was amazing as I told you guys I told you what I was planning to do I did what I said I was going to do it was great I loved it I appreciated the stillness uh, believe it or not the solitude and I appreciated the no rushing around I did miss our namesake as I did say and you know, that was hard. Then again, I remember the last Christmas I was uh, with them. And it was get up early in the morning, take care of the dogs, and then start cooking because they had to go somewhere. A uh, family member who was two hours away. And then it was the mess and stress of all the presents and opening things up. And then me making breakfast and then me feeding the dogs and then me doing some more cooking, and then the showers, and the shouting, and the running, and then getting in the car, and then following their car two hours north to sit for three or four hours with very, very nice people, who I do miss. They're wonderful human beings. And then driving by myself two hours back in the dark by myself to go home to feed the dogs, take care of them. And then where was she on Christmas? She wasn't with me. This time, the solitude felt less heavy. It felt more therapeutic, and it definitely felt more energizing because I was less stressed out. Less money, less obligations, less running around, less social stuff, less everything. And that was very important. If you're going to do miss one thing, I missed one person. So that's not bad. But on that note, what we're going to do is I'm getting ready to take the big guy home so I can feed this guy. And he's already eaten. His food's already here. And then I'm going to shower and shave and get ready for work and go face the wind and the rain again. It was fun yesterday. A lot of people, like I said. And it was fun sitting down and not having to rush. Spend. Make small talk. All of those things. It was very, very... 
liberating. I would love to have been with her. At the same time, it was nice that if I was alone, I wasn't rushing around to be alone. And I will say alone and not lonely because I wasn't lonely. But the rushing around to be alone. I don't count my dogs on that one. But yes, they were very comforting. I hope you guys had a good Christmas. I hope you guys have a great rest of your holiday season. And I will let you know tomorrow how it went. I have a funny feeling that I'm going to be uh, scrubbing the deck of a boat, scrubbing the seats of a boat, uh, cleaning the toilet of a boat, cleaning the helm of a boat that isn't going to go anywhere today. Because yesterday's tide was nasty, and I haven't checked the tide tables yet, but I'll bet it's probably about the same thing. Good news, I can get all that work done, get paid for it, and then go home early. The bad news... Hey, okay. Nope. The bad news is that, you know, as it happens, it happens. Oh, I'm, I'm, we're having a little problem here. I'm going to cut the video. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Um, just want to make sure somebody doesn't tinkle in the house, okay? I'll see you.